qui So hey guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? So I'm done with my workout and I'm in the kitchen. I want to make breakfast. As you guys know, this is like a few days after my kids came back. Um, I'm trying to dissolve the pap in the, in the water. So this is the pap. I put it in water to see if to dissolve. I should have brought it out last night, but I wasn't thinking they are going to have pap. This morning we decided that they decided that they want to have pap. So I'm gonna make pap. I'm going to make scrambled egg and then I'm going to toast the bread for so them. So while the pap is dissolving, I'm going to show you guys um, this fish that Hobby got for me. See, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too into this fish. I feel like this fish doesn't have as much taste as reverse fish. If you know reverse fish, let me place this camera right here. It's not working. It's not working. So I'm going to have to hold you. So this is a fish guys, this is called Mangala, Mangala fish. So I started using this fish by the reason of marriage. So this is Mangala, this is not a fish, this one is very tiny, it has mostly heads. I used to be scared of this fish. I used to feel like this fish is snake fish. That's what I used to feel. Because of the, the head of this fish looks somewhat like that of a snake. But they keep telling me that it's not a snake. <laughs> it's called mangal. I don't know what other names, if it has other names. So this is the fish. So my husband got it for me. This fish, I think, is best when you're making bitter leaf soup. Okay, I don't use it for any other soup. So this I'm going to use for bitter leaf soup is going to go well. So this is the fish that my husband people mostly eat. This fish, this mangala fish and asa fish, that's what they mostly like. They are, I think that's their best dried fish. And this is our palm oil. I'm going to use on this palm oil today and show you how I preserve palm oil okay so my, my sister-in-law sent me this 10 liter palm oil from, from the cold city of Enugu state so this is the palm oil this is the palm oil you guys pardon my thing in this one you know this is the palm oil, palm oil. So I, <clears throat> I decided to get palm oil this time from the village, though the, I always get my oil from Enugu State because I trust their oil, it lasts and doesn't spoil, it is free of all its colored. So I bought palm oil, let me show you guys, I had a catering job to do, um, to cook for my clients and I decided to go and buy palm oil. So I bought this palm oil, this palm oil, one bottle of this palm oil, use it to make a goosey soup. That was what I was making for my client. And this oil spoils the taste of the food. Like the oil has, since then I've not been able to use it again. It was somebody that came and turned the lid. <laughs> so I've not been able to use it. It spoiled, it almost spoiled the taste of the food, but I thank God that the... We were able to you know revamp the soup so that is it and this is the oil from um i think 2021 if i'm not mistaken between if i'm not mistaken 
either 2020 or 2021 as you can you guys can see i've discarded a lot of the empty ones i'm going to also throw this one away real soon this is what is left from that oil from 2021 or 2022 so that is why i said i'm going to show you guys how to preserve your oil this oil still tastes like fresh as like very very fresh so this is what is left from it i've been trying to ensure that i don't finish it before i get another one now that i've gotten another one i'm going to take the opportunity to show you how you can preserve your oil to last you for years and years without going bad okay yeah i'm going to share that um information with you guys so keep on if watching. you're new to my channel consider subscribing to my channel do not forget to turn on post notifications so that you're instantly notified whenever i post a new video you're going to love my content yes i know you're going to love it <laughs> you guys this is to show you how much i love pm my husband whenever it's pm season odara season they go crazy for me what? my pm looks like you guys uh, there's no light see this was what I had for dinner last night. So I had some for dinner. Half orange and apples. This is avocado. My husband said he bought one of this avocado for for 1000 I ate one yesterday. And then half coconut. I think there's orange also um, in the fridge. Yeah. So light has gone. My tripod. This is how to store your pump oil. I promise you this oil is going to last for years, okay? I'm going to show you the one I bought 2021. That's two years ago that I still have remaining. This is how you can store your oil. Another thing you can do to keep your oil is not to keep it on the floor. If you keep your pump oil on the floor, it's going to go bad in no time. If you must keep it on the floor, get something like a carton okay place it or a wood and then you can keep your oil if you just have 
if you have no other choice than to keep it on the floor now how best to keep your oil is on a shelf okay like on a shelf either a wood on the floor and then keep your cans of oil or you keep it on a shelf that's another way your oil can last aside this method of adding salt this oil can last as far as five years six years and so on okay thank you guys so let's go and keep them in the shelf now this is wrong this is so wrong don't keep your oil like this on the, on the floor if you must this is what you do place a carton or a wood and then place your oil because palm oil and cold floor does not go hand in hand so keep something that will keep the oil warm and keep it at room temperature thank you from 2021 this oil this is the last of it there are like five here this is the last of the oil from 2021 this is what is left and it's still as good as like the first day I got it this is how I preserve my oil okay thank you guys so I'm making oat swallow for dinner this is how I want to try making it today for the whole family I'm going to be measuring three cups this thing rises so I'm going to try measuring maybe three and a half I pray <laughs> the world to finish it because it can rise so I'm going to go ahead and add water. To add water. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to add water guys. Try making your semu your swallows like this. I want to see if this method can work. Like it is in my head. So so you mix it with you need to save some water. I guess the water is too so much, but I know it's going to work. Okay. <laughs> I have that feeling it's gonna work. I'm going to try it another method again next time. I like to use palm oil to warm my um, okra soup or vegetable soup to give it that fresh look okay so I'm going to cover this so this is the the clean film I mean the linen I use the wrapping normally I will use clean film but this is what um, they use in wrapping fufu here so that's what I'm going to be using so I just go in, in between the lines and try to open it up like so and scoop it okay so bring this together and this cellophane is really shiny and it's really soft so this is how once you get that perfect um, ball and smooth you can see so 
so you keep on like so until everything comes together you have the perfect you need to finish up daddy way de pamba daddy way bless forever Well, thank you so much for watching this video, this vlog. I hope you guys have learned a thing or two. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please do not forget to click on the subscribe button, share the video, and like the video. Also, leave me your comments in the comment section, okay? So, after dinner, this is 5 30. After dinner, now we will be going to church, so I want to change. I'm off to church to go. So, thank you so much once again. Until I come your way next time with something beautiful. Until then, please do remember that better is not good enough. The best is always yet to come. Ciao, guys. My husband is listening to news. Bye.